Hello and welcome to another lecture guys. We're going to look at uh, accessory navicular and um, one of the main features. So what is accessory navicular? Uh, it is also called as os navicularum or tibial externum and is an extra piece or bone or cartilage located on the inner side of the foot just above the arch. It is composed within the posterior tibial tendon so it's kind of a sesamoid bone within the tibial tendon which attaches in this area okay. it is congenital so it's usually present in both either you have it or you don't have it okay it is not um, uh, an abnormal uh, structure that you get later in the life okay so it's a normal it's, it's not a part of as i said normal bone structure and therefore not present in most people you so the people who have accessory navicular they have it from birth okay. um, so the other thing to know is what is accessory navicular syndrome so what happens is that people who have an accessory navicular they are often unaware of the condition because it doesn't cause any problems However, some people with this bone develop painful condition known as accessory navicular syndrome. When the bone and the posterior tibial tendon rub against each other and causes inflammation or pressure on the tendon. Now this can result from any of the following. Okay. Uh, trauma as in foot or ankle sprain, chronic irritation from shoes or other footwear which can rub against each other then excessive activity or overuse okay. many people with excessive navicular syndrome also have flat feet and having a flat foot puts more strain on the posterior tibial tendon which can produce inflammation or irritation of the accessory navicular okay let's have a look at some of the signs and symptoms of accessory navicular syndrome. Okay. Now, most of the symptoms usually appear in the teenagers or the adolescents. This is a time when the bones are maturing and cartilage is developing into the bone. However, the symptoms can sometimes don't, don't present till the person is an adult. Some of the signs and symptoms of accessory navicular include a visible bony prominence on the midfoot on the inner side of the foot okay then you can have redness and swelling of this bony prominence then you can have wake pain or throbbing in the midfoot and arch which usually occurs during or after periods of activity okay after signs and symptoms is obviously how to diagnose this condition. Now, any condition when when it comes to diagnosis, you have to take a proper history. You have to properly examine the patient. Okay, so the uh, to diagnose accessory navicular syndrome, the foot and ankle surgeon will ask about symptoms and examine the foot, looking for skin irritation or swelling. The doctor may press on the bony prominence to assess the area for discomfort foot structure, muscle strength, joint motion and the way the patient walks may also be evaluated. X-rays are usually ordered to confirm the diagnosis. As you can see in the X-rays, the accessory navicular bones can be seen. If there is ongoing pain or inflammation, an MRI or other advanced imaging tests may be used to further evaluate the condition. Non-surgical treatment is the main mode of treatment. The goal is basically to relieve the symptoms and the pain that the patient has. The following may be used as non-surgical treatment, so immobilization. Then, placing the foot in a cast or removable walking boot allows the affected area to rest and decrease inflammation. Ice. So it's basically rest, ice, compression, elevation, which we have talked a lot of times. To reduce the swelling, a bag of ice can be placed in a towel. Then NSAIDs and ibuprofen are the anti-inflammatory medications, which <coughs> can be used. In some cases, oral injected steroid medications could be used. 
physical therapy involves basically exercises and treatments to strengthen the muscles and decrease inflammation. Then some orthotic devices uh, can be fit into the shoe, especially the people with flat arches to help prevent future symptoms. Okay. Now, not every patient is satisfied or gets relieved of the symptoms with non-surgical treatment. In these cases, you have to think about surgery. So, when is surgery needed? If the non-surgical treatment fails to relieve these symptoms and the patient is in severe pain. <coughs> surgery may involve removing the accessory bone, reshaping the area and repairing the posterior tibial tendon to prove its function. As we said, this extra bone is not normal and is not needed for normal foot function.